Hello everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Blue Vale here on City Skylines. Last time out then was a bit of a stop-start episode, but we managed to get this built along with a couple of other uh, important pieces of infrastructure <clears throat> at the start of our city, which I'm quite happy about. I'm just trying to get this to move over slightly and it doesn't seem to want to. It's a little bit annoying because I don't want it to quite look like that, but never mind. So yeah, we built this junction here, which... I've gone uh, in now and, and done all the lane markings on this side of things, and it's looking a little bit nicer. Still not a huge fan of this bit here, but it is what it is. And hopefully, this will now remain untouched for the rest of the save. Hopefully. No major promises, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, likewise, over here. No, not there, sorry. Over here. This will probably change. Um... There's things I want to do, the lane management, the lane maths are a little bit off for me still. There's a couple of other little bits and pieces that I would like to change. Uh, never actually checked if these were all correct. So that's fixing part of the problem, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, there's loads of other things here that I, I think could do with reworking. And as much as I like this interchange, I just don't think it's suitable for this particular part of the map and I'm about to build one hopefully today that's going to um, <clears throat> mirror this a little bit and that's going to be built one over here and also one over here and at that stage things might change but for now we're actually going to start from here again because uh, right now we've got this road here joining this road and it's going to form three lanes although in a second it's actually going to form four lanes and those four lanes are then going to split again with two continuing like this and another two forming part of a freeway. There's also, or motorway I should say because I'm British, there's also going to be um, a railway station built somewhere around here. Now I wanted to use this one, the old market station. It doesn't quite fit in these gaps but I could build it one side or the other of, of this and it would work. There we go. Um, this isn't a bad idea, you know, it's got a little bit of parking in the middle, it's it's fine. And this would be one of our intercity stations. You see it's got loads of problems, it's probably not going to work very well. Um, but I kind of liked the idea of having this station actually further south. So, what I'm going to do is save this area here for uh, roadways. And we're going to have a motorway that follows this brown line here. And then at this point here, it splits. Half of it goes down this way. The other half goes this way. And even here, <clears throat> according to my plan, um, this becomes a four-way interchange with another road that comes along here. And that heads up to connect with another road that comes up from here. So again, this might be a certain roads joined from certain directions, but not necessarily all of them. And then... Uh, this road here is the one that heads up towards our um, industrial area, which is going to be all in this space here. And I know we've got like the haze at the edge of the map. There is a mod that removes that, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Because <clears throat> so I think what I will do is just flatten as much of this as I can and make it look like it's been carved out. This section down here where it's a little bit flatter, I think this will also be part of it. Um, purely because the railway is there so I can build like freight yards and things like that and it will look pretty damn cool but for now I'm going to stop jabbering on and I'm actually going to start doing some building so we're going to start building the main road here that is then going to come down here and connect up to these two different uh, locations over here so let's get cracking <laughs>
So there lies an important lesson, everybody. If you're going to be messing around with roads, perhaps don't hold down the uh, bulldozer tool whilst you're working. Um, thankfully, not a huge amount of work was lost there. And to be honest, some of what was lost there I wasn't a huge fan of anyway. Uh, we did manage to keep the four lanes here, though, which is a bit weird that that worked, but never mind. So I'm going to have another crack at this. I think what I'm going to do this time is start off by actually building the overroads first. Um, and then go from there and you might already have noticed I'm kind of adding like feeder roads here so the, this is like the main boulevard that runs through the city east to west I imagine there'll be more traffic running east to west than north to south uh, and even if there is traffic running from north to south it might even end up taking these routes because they could end up being quicker um, and that might be something that I end up forcing either that or I make this north facing only uh, and that might save some uh, some energy as well um, when it comes to how to, to control traffic flow in future. But yeah, right now I'm going to go ahead and start working on this again. I'm going to redo some of these roads, some of these junctions, and probably make this all look a little bit nicer and tidier. Uh, I'm going to try not to do too much here that's going to affect how this central section here works because I was quite happy with this. But yeah, I've already got some ideas as to how I'm going to improve this. So bear with me and I'll be back again momentarily.
All right, that'll do for this episode. Quite a lot has changed. Um, I'd say we're still at the bare bones right now of, of what we can potentially do with this city. But I am feeling a lot more confident now that the road layout will work as intended. Now, this junction here, I did say before was going to be a four-way, and it still will be a four-way, but I think I'm going to spread it out a little bit more. So again, on the plan, it kind of shows the, uh, the road here going across and then around but I think what I might do here is have these two roads split where one comes down and joins the main carriageway here and the other one spreads off this way and then over here have another one that branches off and connects or maybe just over here actually have one that branches off underneath and then have one from here that goes over or under or something like that and we'll turn it into like a spread out four-way interchange. I think that would be a good way of going about things. Um, as for the interchange here then, we've got quite a big gap between the freeway here and the roads beneath. But I think that might be a good place to run some railways perhaps. Uh, how we're going to work things here, I don't yet know. Um, possibly... I don't know, I was about to say possibly the railway goes underground, but that sounds a bit dumb. Also, this looks weird, although we have our first car using the, uh, the road here, which is exciting. Um, as for the uh, lane connections here, I believe everything is in order, which is good to see. Uh, I did notice just now as well that the speed limits on these roads, maybe not so much these ones, but definitely the two lanes are 25 miles per hour in fact it is that for all of them which should make life a little bit easier when it comes to traffic flow management again because it, it'll make sure that the fast vehicles that need to get somewhere quickly will use the uh the express roads whereas you know these roads here will only get used by traffic that actually needs to come this way and i think that will be very beneficial as well right then folks uh next time out i do want to actually start planning out streets and adding buildings and things like that. So we've got loads of cross streets that we need to plan in here. I think I want to work on the CBD first um, and also start leaking into Blue Shores, which is this area over here that's going to be fully pedestrianized. Um, the plan with this one is to turn it into like a leisure district or a tourism area. So, you know, hotels, restaurants, that kind of thing. Shopping, lots of shopping, I'm sure. And also this area over here, which is Vale Shores, which is our residential. So I want to get some people living here, and then I want to get them over here doing shopping and things like that. And I also want to get them in this area where they're making lots of money for the, uh, the city. We've got these roundabouts here and all sorts of things, so the traffic flow should be relatively okay. And now thanks to our motorway junctions here as well. We should have a really, really nice traffic flow around the city. Um, but yeah, I want to get started on plopping down streets and plopping down buildings and actually getting some residents in. So, until then guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you enjoyed the series so far, drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes. I would really appreciate that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Plenty more cool videos like this coming up in the near future. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Enjoy the rest of your evenings, and until next time, I will see you soon.